video diary. What time is it, Annie? Yeah, but what time is it? Well, um, 25 plus 5. So we'll do a bit more filming. Um, well, we'll speak to you all later. Yeah, speak to you all later. Today, in this town, not a single Jew. The last one was Shimshon Kruger, who, by the way, when he came back after the war, he survived with his brother and sister, and they, they hid in the forest around here, and they came back. And when they came back, I want you just to think for a moment what faced him, and how you would feel if you faced the same thing you were doing tonight. Came back here, and there was no one that he knew. All the people that he'd grown up with were just gone. Not a single person didn't recognize a single person, just taken away. Right, uh, we are in Ostviemtium. Uh, we arrived about, what was it, half an hour ago? About, that, about yeah. half an hour ago. We've Damaged. just been to, uh, the, the... to meet a rabbi. In what, what was it called? I'm not a sure. synagogue, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah in a synagogue. Uh, we had a little lesson um, oh. in Hebrew and things like that. Eddie had to wear a very strange hat. Which I nearly walked out with. Yes. <laughs> I got some alright pictures and uh, we've got to go that way. Yeah, we're just heading back um, to the bus. We're just heading back to the bus now. I think we're going Auschwitz now, aren't we? Yeah, I think we're heading off to Auschwitz 1. So, uh, it is. 12 o'clock England time, so it's 1 o'clock um, Poland time, and uh, well, we'll see you in Auschwitz. Yeah, we'll see you later. Yeah, right, Raquel. Oh, yeah. So, where are we, uh, Raquel? Right, we are in Auschwitz, Auschwitz 1. Auschwitz 1. Um, what time is it? We've got these little headphones to listen to our tour guide lady. Wherever um, she may be. She's up there, I've forgotten what her, what her name is. It's Marcelina. It's half past twelve English time, so it's half past one, one over here. Over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's always one in there. Um. Yeah. So can I have a little cord?
So Rachel, hmm? let's catch up with Rachel. How are you finding it so far? Um, Is it what you expected? I know it sounds really horrible and cruel, but yeah, it is. Was it after the seminar it's, that made you it's expect? Not like it makes, yeah, yeah. Because he prepa so Ziggy prepares for yeah, it, yeah. He has done, but it's <coughs> still doesn't. You still don't expect what you see, like how many shoes we've just seen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stuff he didn't like. He didn't obviously tell us about that. Like, but. Yeah. But it kind of that seminar kind of prepared me. In some and ways, I've learned yeah. about it all in, 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 in history and in school, but yeah. still there's some some bits that I thought. Why so has any bit surprised you? Shoes, yeah. Did that surprise you the most? Yeah. So far. Definitely, so far, yeah. Definitely. Well, we'll catch up a bit later on. Right, so Raquel, mm. how did that go in the uh, gas chamber and the old crematorium? Stunk of ash. Still yeah. smells, isn't it, yeah? After all that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. yeah still um, I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> Is it what you were expecting? Um, Oh, well, after earlier, it is kind of is, but... What are you explaining? But obviously it's different seeing it. Yeah, yeah. In the actual the flesh than just telling you, yeah, you can actually smell exactly. and you can kind of guess what's happened. Yeah, you're experiencing it yourself, yeah. aren't you? So, it's not exactly like I'm ever going to forget it. No. You know, um, and she was really nice and I asked some questions, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, she explained a lot of it well. Yeah. Even though I was taking a lot of pictures. Yeah. I kind of missed a lot of it. But yeah. Right, well, we'll shoot off and we'll see you in Birkenau. Yeah. Is it true that there's no birds that fly over? No. <laughs> it's not. It's not no, no, no. Yes, well, I haven't seen any. Yes, but this is the time of the year there are not so many birds here, first of all. And also the, the weather is not good. But if you come here in the summer, you'll find a lot of birds. Right, well, I don't know where we heard it from, but. Uh, a lot of people ask these questions. Yeah. No, it was someone who said that they'd visited here before um, and they said that that's what they were told and they hadn't seen any single birds. And it was like in the summer area and they didn't see one single bird no, no, when they no, flew there over. There are birds, there are deers, there are snakes, you can find here a lot of animals, a lot of frogs around. And there's been so much to think about today, so much to take in and to process. If someone were to ask you right now, how are you? How are you doing? You might say something like, I'm cold or tired or hungry, which would be the sort of obvious superficial things. But how, how are we really after a visit to Auschwitz and Birkenau? It sometimes takes a, a bit longer to fully let it all sink in and put into words what it is that we've been seeing today, hearing about today, talking about today. And so it seems like an appropriate way to, to end the day is to just have some more, some readings, really some mostly poems, um, just to give us some more points for reflection, things to think about on our, on our journey home. 
when one stands in a place like Auschwitz-Birkenau as we stand right now, and however different we may be as individuals, and while the words of our prayers may be different, I believe that our thoughts are all the same. And it's in this spirit that I'd like to ask those who are comfortable and those who'd like to. I've chosen Psalm 23 because it's common to so many of us and because also there's a reference over here, the valley of the shadow of death, which in many ways describes where we are standing right now. So those who'd like to, please join in reciting the psalm together. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He guideth me in straight paths for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. stronger commitment to celebrating life and freedom 